six to five, the score. Christina Feldkamp getting ready to serve again. Emaw Valley, four straight points, looking to make it a fifth. Almost out of bounds, but Plainville keeps it in play. Christina Feldkamp hits it back. Julie Colgan with another set, and Sam Carlson there trying to lay the hammer down, but tipped by Plainville. But a spike on the opposite side of the ball. That was Kylie Pywell getting the ball inside for a spike. 6-6 six, six to score. Plainville ending the Nemaha Valley Raiders little streak. In the serve is Taylor Hickson. It's ball over. And a dive by Ica Reinhouse, saved by Melanie Nolte. And Michaela Brazina fakes like she's going to spike and hits it over the net. But Plainville sticking with it. Hit by Christina Felkamp. Julie Calkin sets far side for Erica Ridinghouse, and it's in. Erica Ridinghouse again with another kill. Doing a great job here early on in this ballgame. First substitution of the game for the Raiders. Sam Carlson gets a break as Gabby Dieters comes in to serve, and also Holly Kuckelman coming in the ballgame. Julie Kohaki getting a rest. Gabby Dieters, 5'5", junior. On the better service has 244 serves on the season with 24 aces and almost got a point there. Plainville hits the ball over, gets a tip on Michaela Brazina. A set and another Erica Ronnie House spike, and it falls in after getting tipped by a Plainville player. 8 to 6 to score, Nimha Valley lead. Erica Ronnie House doing a great job already. That looks to be the game plan for Nimha Valley. Get the ball to Erica. Gabby Deers hits the ball over. Plainville returns it. Here comes a spike by Plainville, and no stopping that one. Laying the hammer down was Taylor. Check that, makes that Kylie Highwell again doing a great job. Substitution in for Plainville. Andra Mick coming in the ball game for Plainville. 8-7 to seven to score. Only Nolte hits the ball, sets it up near side for Michaela Brazina, but it is returned back by Plainville. Another set to Erica Ridinghouse on far side. Hits it over, and Plainville wasn't expecting that one. Erica Ridinghouse gets another point for the Raiders. 9-7 to the score. Nemaha Valley leads the Plainville Cardinals. Nemaha Valley the three seed coming into this tournament. Plainville the six seed. Erica Ridinghouse turns the ball over near side. Plainville gets the serve and a spike, but blocked by Holly Kuckelman. And again, trying to get in, blocked again by Holly Kuckelman. What a great job by Holly Kuckelman coming in and using her size and length to her advantage. 10-7 to 7 to score, Imaha Valley leads. Erica Ridinghouse with another set. She hits the ball over. It's my play, play ball setting up for another spike. And that one is clearly in. That was Danielle Winters getting the spike and the kill there. 10-8 to score, Plainsville trying to come back in this ball game. Over there, the set is Hannah Friend getting ready to serve the ball over. The ref gives us a signal, hits the ball over. Hit by Sam Carlson, trying to die for it is Jamie Swart, but no good. So point for Plainsville again, 10-9 is the score. Plainsville coming in with a decent record at 27 and 9. Hits the ball over. And that was out of bounds. Easy point for Nemaha Valley. Good communication by the Raiders. 11 on the score. Julie Kohaki coming back in the game for Holly Kuckelman. And also Christina Felkamp coming in the ball game for Jamie Swart. Betty Pearson mentioned the depth and how well they are doing as a team. And certainly everyone can pick each other up. And Nemaha Valley doing a great job so far. Kayla Brazina set to serve. 5'9", Jr., has, a, has 20 aces on the season. Hits the ball over. Struggling by Plainsville. Finally gets the ball over on the third hit. Sam Carlson hits it over. Trying to tip it was Julie Kohaki, but she hits. She steps over the line. So point for the Cardinals. 11-10 the score. Plainsville trailing by one. Michaela Brazina hits it over. And trying to get a spike was Julie Kohaki, but no good. And again, and this time the Plainsville... Hits the ball, kind of bounces on the net, and then falls out of bounds near side. Point goes to the Imaha Valley. 12-10 to score. Julie Kohaki back to serve again. 37 aces on the season. One of the better servers for Nemaha Valley. Plainville hits the ball, returns and sets up for a spike. No good. Michaela Brazina reaches out and saves the ball in play. Christina Fell kept trying to keep it in. But four hits is the call against the Nemaha Valley Raiders. Point goes to Plainville. 